I was gonna wait to film this, but y'all, it needs to be done now. We got a declutter dish. Like, look, it's broken, and like, it's frayed out. It's broken. So, I'm gonna do my third part of my third declutter now with my YouTube kit because I need to. I just I need to. I've already gotten rid of some stuff, and I have videos coming of that already. But I just. I look at this and I know how much makeup is in here and it scares me, honestly. It scares me so much. So what I really want to do is go through my highlighters in this kit right now and I have them all right here. Because I went through my highlighter collection when I filmed a makeup stash and I was like, let me bring out some of these that I kind of want to use. And that's what I did and this is what ended up happening. I am going to only declutter one highlighter because I don't know if you guys know this, but I have purchased every single piece of makeup that is in my collection with my own money and I am a mom, so it's kind of hard for me to go and splurge on makeup, but a lot of it's very personal to me, so that's why I'm kind of like, I'm going to just declutter one thing, this declutter with like eyeshadow palettes and highlighters, and then I declutter like a lot more with other things. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. If you are new here, hi, I am Kira. I am a mom and I am a beauty obsessed person and I post a brand new makeup video every single day of the week. So I hope you guys will enjoy and you'll stick around and subscribe because that really does help this channel out and it really, you know, just subscribing and liking helps. And I'm always giving back to you guys. I have a 250 subscriber giveaway at the time that I'm filming this that you can win. You can always suggest something that you want to win in the giveaway down below I am more than happy to purchase it because I am a little bit more lucky when it comes to money with my family like we're very very blessed so I am able to go and spend money on makeup that others might not be able to so I am more than happy to purchase that for you and if you did not win the previous giveaway which was the 100 subscriber giveaway and you requested something then you can always request it for the next giveaway there's no immediate like there's no like you can only request it once kind of thing. Okay, first highlighter I have is this LA Colors yes. Nude Glow Highlighter in the shade Glowing. It looks kind of dark. I think it kind of is, actually. I wore this yesterday. I think that I wore this yesterday. Yeah, it's a little bron too bronzy for me, but I can still make it work. It's not a bedang bedoo bedoo highlight, as I like to call them. But it's definitely on like the slow spectrum. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it hard panned pretty easily. And I've been having to dig into it. Like this is a powder. And it looks like a cream. But it's a powder. Okay, this is the highlight I'm wearing today. And it is the Color Workshop Illuminate Highlighter. It doesn't have a shade name, which kind of drives me insane. I don't know if you guys can see. It's light, but kind of like bubbled really weird as well and I haven't even had this that long and been using it either. This is a little too... It's like not enough for me. Again, it's the highlight I'm wearing today. It honestly seems like it's a little light on my skin. Like the swatch is kind of like what I like in a highlight but then it's like on my skin it doesn't really match up. So that's definitely a highlight I'm going to put over here because it's one I am I really need to stop and think about. This is the highlight I can already guarantee to you I am not getting rid of because it is discontinued. It's Wet n Wild's Color Icon Bronzer and Reserve Your Cabana. Mine is broken. I have a couple backups of these, but they don't make this anymore, so I can almost guarantee you I will never declutter this because I actually really like this for a natural highlight. It's a great color, not a bronzer at all, but it's really nice. Okay, I think I have these organized now. Um, the Heart Candy Baked Blush in Honeymoon. When I swatched this, I was like, this honestly would be too light as a blush for me. So I decided to put it in my highlighter kit to try it out. And I have not liked any look I have done using this highlighter or this blush as a highlight. Like, I haven't liked any look whatsoever. And, like, you can definitely see, like, that is not a blush on me. Like, maybe in that light. But, like, no. Like, the light just catches it too much. So, I'm going to put that over here so we can think about that. I have another baked blush from Hard Candy in the shade Living Doll, which I had the same experience with when I was going through my makeup stash for my highlighters. I swatched this, and I was like, this would be kind of like a nice highlight, I think, for me. Like, 
it's a little too pink, but I actually feel like I've had better experiences with this than with the other one. However, I'm still going to put it over here in the possible declutter pile because I need to. Hard candy baked tiki bronzer. Uh, mine got hard pan like super duper easily. Everybody raved about this being a highlighter and I just don't get it at all. There's tiki right there. Uh, like at all. Like I don't get it. It's never been a good highlighter for me either. So I'm gonna put that right there. Had to reposition myself. <laughs> Sorry guys. This is the Hard Candy Just Glow 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 Dome Highlighter in the shade Bronze. I don't remember how or why I got this, but I was looking at. It, I was like, this would be super fun. I, for some reason, I thought it would be super fun. I've used this once, so I'm not going to declutter it because I don't have enough experience with it. But I didn't like it when I did use it. So, there is that problem. But again, I've only used this once, so it's not going to get decluttered because I do like to have my own... Like, I like to have a feeling and an experience with the highlighters. Like, knowing that I haven't had a good look with these is going to be strong against them. And, like, liking the Reserve Your Cabana is going to go for it. Like, I want to know what how I feel about a product before I get rid of it. Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer in the shade Fantastic and Gold. I loved this when I used it. I'm not going to even lie. I've used this once now, and I loved it. It was so nice. Milani, I think you need to bring this back, because I remember everybody going crazy about this when it came out. And I'm glad I brought it out to use, because... <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I had such a good experience with it. Elf's Pink Tastic Baked Blush. Um, I got this at the recommendation of Kathleen Lights. And for some reason, I don't remember. I, I remember using it, but I don't remember ever. I don't really remember how I feel about this as a highlight. It's not a blush at all. Um, but I'm going to keep it since I don't really remember. Because why not? Let's see. Um, Believe Beauty Radiant Finish Highlighter in Pink Pearls. I used this once. And I do not like it. I know that much. It swatches great. It's just, I think, too dark of a shade for me, maybe. Of course, I have only used this once, so that is just opinions off of first impressions, and you can't always go off of first impressions. You have to continue to use a product, so I'm going to put it back in the makeup case because I haven't used it very often. Elf Blush Gems Baked Highlighter. Let's see. I brought this out because I thought it might be a little too dark for me. And I truly, truly do not remember how I feel about this. So, going back home. Elf Plus Glow Highlighter in the shade Taupe. I love the feeling of this highlighter. I think this might be a little dark for me as well. But I love the feeling of it. Yeah. Oh. Like, that is such serious reflector. Like, if that was a good shade match for me, that'd be awesome. But, yeah, I'm just going to have to put it there because I don't really remember. Let's see. Wet n' Wild's Shimmer Palette in I'll Have a Cosmo is broken. There, I think I got enough on there. Um, there is that one. I don't know. I'm going to put it over here and think about it. I liked this one. This was Wet n' Wild's Air. This is from like their Element Collection. This is the Air Highlight. I, I remember liking this when I used it. So, of course, since I liked it, I'm going to keep it. I haven't had enough experience with it, honestly. But I remember liking it. Jeffree Star Princess Cut. I did not like this when I used it. I don't know why, because I thought his skin frost would work for me very well. Maybe it's the shade, like the shade. I don't know. But I just didn't like it. I did only use it once, though, when I was trying out some new products. So that goes back in the home. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. Um, you're crazy if you think I'm going to declutter this because this is actually a very, very nice natural highlight right there.
Physicians Formula Butter Highlight in Champagne. I really like this. Mine is broken, though, but I do really like this. I like the consistency, I like the formula, and I like the color. Really nice. I like soft, smooth highlighters. Jeffree Star Supreme Pro Frost and Wet Dream I won't get rid of, which is, I guess, why I had such high hopes for the Skin Frost, because I really like this. I won't get rid of that one. Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl and Ballerina. I got in a boxy charm and I put up because it wasn't the shade I wanted. I wanted Gilded Honey and I didn't get it. There's Ballerina right there. It's a little deep for me, honestly, so I'm surprised boxy charm sent that to me. Um, but I'm going to keep it because it is a high-end product. LA Colors Highlighting Palette, the shade Moonbeam. Uh, I kind of, I don't have good experience with this, I don't think, but I'm going to keep it just because I feel like I can make this work because those are all three shades I love to use. I have two loose highlighters. I have this LA Colors Loose Face and Body Shimmer in the shade Sugar Dust, which I actually remember this not being too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. It's not bad at all. And Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlighter in Pink Me Up 200. Not a good shade match for me either. I've only used this once though. So I'm unfortunately going to have to keep this even though I'm pretty sure I don't like this and I would like to declutter it to make more room. There it is, right there. Let me go ahead and clean up my arm and we'll talk about some more makeup. Okay, so I actually started this video with the sole intent purposes of only getting rid of one highlighter. I am going to go ahead and declutter these six. I'm going to declutter these six. So, for a reference, it's the LA Colors Nude Glow Highlighter in Glowing. I am going to declutter that. Color Workshop Illuminate Highlighter, which I am currently wearing. So if you want to purchase it from my Poshmark, maybe I'll link it down below and I'll put it on Poshmark. I don't know. Hard Candy Baked Blush in Honeymoon. I'll probably only list these for like a dollar. Hard Candy Baked Blush in Living Doll. Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in Tiki. Yeah, you guys, I think I'll only list these for like a buck. And this Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette, and I'll have a Cosmo. So if there's anything you guys want from my declutter, then check out my Poshmark. It's just Kiribu Bear. That's been my nickname since I was younger. My older sister gave it to me, and it's just something that's always stuck. And it's, you know, her daughter is my little Boo Bear, and I was her Boo Bear. So that's it. Um, yeah, this, it's still overflowing, but it's better. Um, I haven't decluttered the whole collection yet, though. That's kind of why. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. All that social media great stuff. It really helps this channel out. It costs you this much to support this channel. And remember, I post a brand new makeup video every single day of the week. So, I work very hard for that. I'm very proud of that. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, y'all.